the Philippine Health Department. New cases have a uh, daily Delta variant of, of the Kakaagawai pa. Maraming dagdag na gumali. And what can be considered mga COVID ICU. A lot has changed in the past two years. But still, the uncertainty and struggles had never come to an end. COVID-19, a disaster that kills thousands of people, an occurrence which killed hope, living, and happiness between people's eyes. In just a blink of an eye, hunger and unemployment starts to crumble. Family, friends, acquaintances, and businesses become greatly affected. How can we survive? Resilience and interconnectedness can enable us to survive and overcome obstacles. But it isn't something we are born with. It's something we develop over time with our experiences. Our connection to one another slowly drifted away together with our willingness to seek for better resources. That is why we all react differently to stress and adversity such as the COVID-19 pandemic. But despite this, progress can be attained through technology. Technology has paved the road for our society's progress in our modernized world. It could be for research, amusement, marketing, or even purchasing. But it doesn't end there, for it is also the application of scientific knowledge to real-world problems, particularly in industry. The most essential aspect of manufacturing process decision-making was recognized as technology. In many circumstances, it decreases the chance of error and guarantees that consumers receive high-quality items for regular use. May it be for e-commerce and healthcare, technology has always been our partner. With that being said, we cannot deny the fact that technology is embedded in the roots of what is happening in our society. All we need to do is to not just see it, but embrace and maximize its purpose. In order to do that, we must recognize that technology can be seen even in this time of pandemic. One of which is, scientists are turning to technology. To reduce and eventually stop the spread of COVID-19, policymakers use technology across all fronts, from testing and traceability to medicines and equipment. Another one is, the transparency in news reports and updates. Being morally aware makes us adapt to the changes in our society. Moreover, bringing the people dated facts is also helping them foresee a situation right and respond to it diligently. Trying to participate in activities held at distance can be one too. Activities such as yoga and exercise sessions. By doing so, we are not only getting in touch, but we are also protecting our health. Information that we receive should not just be limited to ourselves only. It is our responsibility as citizens of our country to help disseminate knowledge for the betterment of everyone. Therefore, do not just be a consumer but also be a producer. Even if we are all compelled to maintain physical distance, it's crucial to contact, video chat, email, or write letters to the people we care about to engage in responsive exchanges, safeguard our emotional well-being, and manage the stress of living through this challenging period. Our strong bond with technology makes us more connected because we are fighting the virus together. Through technology, we can be educated. Through that, there goes discipline. With discipline, we can be more responsible enough to mitigate the death toll and save a life from being taken away every day. Thus, we are building a society of resilience and connection by heart, from one person to a whole nation.